welcome to English with Jimmy. Today we'll talk about snooker. Uh, we use sometimes some expression from the game of snooker, like we use expression from football and from other sports in our conversation. So uh, the purpose of this video is to learn a little bit about uh, snooker, okay, and also the idioms and the phrases that we use uh, in snooker. That's uh, sometimes in conversation with other people. But to be snookered means to not to be able to reach your target. Like you are in a, a spot of bother, bother, like you, you're trying to get out of a difficult situation. That is the meaning of snooker, all right? Um, uh, let us watch a video now to explain how to play snooker, okay? That will sum it all up, and then we'll come back again to talk a little bit more. How to play snooker. Snooker is a popular billiards game that is similar to pool. Snooker is played on a rectangular snooker table with six pockets, one at each corner and two in the middle. Object of the snooker. The object of snooker is to pocket the balls legally according to the rules and to score more points than the opponent. Points are scored by pocketing balls in the correct order using a numerical sequence. What you need to play snooker. A snooker table, a cue stick, a white cue ball, 15 red balls, six colored balls, including yellow, green, brown, blue, pink, and black. Points or scoring. Points are scored in two ways. One, points for fouls by the opponent. Two, points by legally potting reds or colored balls. Each legally potted red ball has one point, and each legally potted color ball has a different point value. Yellow, two points, green, three points, brown, four, blue, five, pink, six points, and black, seven points. Game setup. Each of the colored balls has a specific location on the table. Set the rack by placing all 15 red balls in a pyramid at one end of the table. Then place the pink ball directly in front of the point of the triangle. Place the black ball a few inches behind the red balls. Place the blue ball in the center. The yellow, brown, and green balls are lined up horizontally on the breaking point at the end of the table. Who goes first? Players can decide by tossing a coin. The player who wins the toss has the choice of going first or can ask the opposing player to initiate the tiebreaker. Let's start the game. The game of snooker begins when the first player places the white cue ball anywhere inside the D. Now players hit the cue ball with his or her cue stick towards the red balls so that the cue ball hits the red balls. Each turn, until the red balls are off the table, you must hit a red ball first with the cue ball. Points are scored by potting the right balls in the right order. If players pot the red ball, this red ball will stay in the pocket. Now the player will try to pot any of the color balls. Make sure to say which color ball you're trying to pot. If you successfully pot that colored ball, then that color ball will be returned to their designated spot on the table. If the color ball doesn't fit on its spot, then the color ball goes on the highest valued spot available. If all of these positions are occupied, then place the respotted ball as close as possible to its original position on a straight line between its spot and the nearest point on the top cushion. If you pot that color ball, then you score the value of the color ball plus one point for potting the red ball. For example, if you pot the blue ball with the red ball, you will earn six points. One point for a red ball and five points for a blue ball. If the player pots a legal ball, then that player will continue his or her turn until he or she fails to pot a ball. This is called a break. A break is the number of points scored by a player in a single visit to the table. After each turn, player's next shot must be at a red ball again. Continue the game in this way until all of the red balls go into a pocket. When all the red balls are gone, then you have to pocket all the color balls in this order. First, the yellow ball. Second, green ball. Third, brown. Fourth, blue. Fifth, pink. And last, the black. Fouls and penalties. In these following situations, you will lose your turn and your opponent will get a minimum of four points or the value of the ball, whichever is greater. For example, if you're playing a green ball, but you hit a black ball, then the opponent will earn seven points. 
If you commit foul, your opponent may choose to take the shot or turn the table back to you, playing a shot with both feet off the ground. If your cue ball first hits a ball other than the ball you're trying to play, then you don't earn any score, but your opponent scores the value of the ball pocketed. If you touch any ball on the table, then the penalty is the value of the ball touched or four points. If your cue ball does not hit anything on the table, if you pot the cue ball, if you pot the incorrect ball in the wrong sequence, jump shots are illegal in snooker. If any of the balls land off the table, playing a push shot, a shot where the cue, cue ball, and the object ball are simultaneously in contact. If the cue ball leaves the bed of the table and jumps over a ball, What is snooker? Snooker is a term used to describe a certain scenario. Snooker is when there's no direct path between the cue ball and the ball you're trying to hit. In order to make this happen, you'll usually have to make a kick shot where the cue ball bounces off one or more of the rails before it actually hits the target ball. Free ball. If you commit a foul and your opponent is snookered on all balls, he is allowed to select any ball on the table as a free ball for this shot only. When the snooker game ends, the player with the most points at the end of the game wins. In few situations, the game will end if a player resigns because there aren't enough balls on the table to make up for the opponent's score, and if the player does not have enough options to make a good snooker to force the opponent into a foul. If the scores are equal after potting the black ball, the black ball is re-spotted, then toss a coin. The player who wins the toss will choose who will take the first shot at the black, and the player places the white cue ball anywhere inside the D. The first foul, or pot, ends the game. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was very clear. Um, it's got all the details about the game, so to save us a lot of talking. And now, uh, you can look at this picture here, okay? You see? The, the cue ball is here, and he's, the player is supposed to hit the red ball. So he is snookered because he can't see it. You see that? He can't go anywhere. If he wants to hit the red ball, you need to go like on the side of the table and then maybe try once or twice until he can reach, or maybe three or four times until he can hit the, the, the red ball. You got that? That's called snooker. All right? Here's another photo of uh, Snooker. You see the cue ball and the red ball. He can't see it. If he, if he tries and hit the red ball, he will hit the blue one. So he must go all the way down there and then come back again, try and hit it. That is Snooker, okay? Here's a photo of how to stand to play Snooker. Another photo. We're going to see some, a number of photos now of how they using the cue stick to and how you're holding your hands, your fingers on the table to play snooker. Yes, you've seen that one. Another. Okay. And another one. Another one there, yes. So you see the, the the way the players are standing and the way they're concentrating and looking at the balls, okay? We call this a bridge here, okay, to help the player uh, uh, aim properly. He's using this bridge, okay? Look at that position, a bit difficult, yes, okay? It's lovely when you look at the snooker table, the green like that, and you see all the colorful balls. That's very nice, actually. Yes, okay. Right. Uh, the players uh, can, can like lean on the table like that, but he must have his toes on the one, at least one toe on the floor. Okay. If his foot here is not touching the floor, it's a foul, okay? It's a foul. So that, he must have at least one toe touching the floor.
here is another bridge. You can see how the how the queue is resting on the bridge to help the player. Okay. Uh, here are some extensions to make the the the, the stick longer. Okay. So you, you you can use this extension so the player can have a longer reach for uh, if the ball is a little bit far from him. Okay. You can see these extensions. Okay. The choke that you use, okay, to make the edge, okay, the tip of the stick, uh, uh, like, um, hit the ball exactly what it should be. And the ball shouldn't be, like, greasy or got water on it or oil or anything like that, okay? The choke. And, and sweat as well, okay? Sweat. That's why the, the ref in the game is wearing white gloves. So his fingers uh, uh, doesn't get any sweat or any grease on the on the on the balls here's a choke again yes you can see that okay see so cue holders or bridges like the bridge we talked about you can see here the different types they are okay the different types another bridge here you can see it yes here we have another bridge yes you can see that and here's some players using the bridge. You can see the way they're using it and the extension sometimes to make the queue longer, the okay, stick longer. Uh, the way you hit the ball, okay, is very important. You can see if you hit it from the bottom, it, it uh, like rotates in, in different directions, okay? That's very important to train players, okay? This is how, play how to, okay, you aim. You can, like, you hit the ball here, it goes there, it hits the red. The red goes in the pocket and... Uh, the, the 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 trick is not where you hit the the red. The trick is where you leave the white ball, the cue ball. It's got to be left in a position to hit the next ball. So if you're hitting a red and then you want to hit the black, so you hit the red, you send it in the pocket, and then you move the black. When you after you hit the 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 cue ball, the the white one must move into a position that to allow you to hit easy for you to hit another color. Um, obviously, it's better to have that color is the black. Okay, you got that? Here, uh, that, that, that uh, photo is quite good, actually. It's, uh, it's uh, how to, or where to hit the ball. What happens? The top spin and the back spin and, and the side, and okay, uh, side spin. Uh, every place you hit the ball, you get the ball to turn and rotate in a different direction. So if you hit it here, it comes back to you. If you hit it there, it hit the ball and it follows. If you hit it in the middle, it hit the ball and stops, okay? If you hit it on the that side or that side, it spins in a different direction. That is a very trick. Um, obviously, the masters of the snookers, they, are, they know how to do this, okay? Best snooker players like Ronnie Sullivan, okay? Jimmy White, uh, uh, Stephen Hendry. Again, this is where you can make the ball spin, okay? Top and bottom, yes, okay, and left and right. Numbers of the balls, okay. Uh, some snooker players in action, as you can see, the way they are, okay. See the way they play. Takes a lot of training, actually. And some positions for the players. Good. Um, right. Um, we, be, before we talk about the idioms and phrases in snooker, uh, we we'll just see some trick shots. Uh, shots, okay, like a video of show another video, show how enjoyable it is, okay. And then uh, after that, we'll talk about the phrases and the idioms. I must admit, I like snooker as well. <laughs> okay, it's fun. That's roughly the line. But he's got to hit this red full to send the, well, to put distance between cue ball and object ball. Well, you can't put much distance than that. Marco stopped in his tracks. Yeah, and if we look at this, he just got to the red first, didn't he? Terrific escape, bonus the red going in. Yeah, I think he's trying to just miss the black of two cushions. Well, I don't think that shot is on, John, to be honest. I mean, okay. he's yeah, trying to yeah, fit this red. Pink's in the way as well, isn't it?
Oh, oh marvellous. <laughs> marvellous. Oh, that's a great shot. Wonderful that's shot. That's shot of the day so far. Well, it could be shots of the championship. That was superb. Well played and well worked out. Let's have a look at this again. You have to be so precise. Just to let you see the angle where the cue ball has to miss the black, has to miss the pink. Not much margin for error there. Excellent. Haven't they got left cushion? Yes. Possible to go around the back of it. Yeah, normally you'd think, well, can he swerve around the right hand side, the black, as we look? But if you did that, there's a possibility you could go in off the yellow. That swerve's not on. As Alan said, he's got to come off the left hand side of the table. There's always a danger of an in off. To believe that <laughs> they didn't look possible. Foul John Higgins, four. I want to have a look at that again in slow motion. That's unbelievable, Alan. Yeah, as I said, there was room round the back of it, but that was incredible. Oh, how about this? How about this? Oh, what a shot. What a fantastic shot from Fergal O'Brien. Absolutely brilliant. Count the cushions. One, two, three. Brilliant stuff. Fantastic shot. Foul and a miss. No point of strength, Ken. Four. Foul and a miss. Up on four. Foul and a miss. Up on Swinkin, six. Foul and a miss. Up on Swinkin, four. Oh, and just at first look, Ken, this blue could just be in the way of the one cushion escape. Well, I put a line up there, John, and that. So you don't think so? <laughs> it just depends because this clot is obviously the first day that it does slide a lot more. So the angle coming off the first cushion can be a bit wider. He could come off this top cushion and try and hit the hit the yellow from the top cushion, side cushion. I'll tell you what, it's missable though. Oh, good shot. Yeah, check oh, yeah. And that was an excellent shot. He played that with a lot of right hand side there just to check the cue ball. Foul, and a miss. Ken Duffy, five, six, Ollie. Well, that was interesting, Clive, trying to come off the middle jaw there. Well, I don't think many players would have chosen to do that. Unlucky. Foul, and a miss. Ken Duffy, five. Ken. It's going back. Well, same again. Well, wow, what can you say? <laughs> what can you say? Genius. Well, after all my years in the game, I've seen something new. Where's the cue ball going? Ooh, well. <laughs> What's a hit? Where's the cue ball going? Behind the black? Yes! Unbelievable! 
Well, and uh, Mark all smiles, but he'll appreciate that escape from Mark Selby. Lucky to have the snooker, but boy, after an escape like that, you deserve a bit of luck. <laughs> well, the thing is, coming round as he is here, there won't be a lot of pace left on this cue ball. It's a great effort. What a hit! What a hit! Well, we've seen two escapes there. The shot of the championship, both of them. Absolutely fabulous. Mark Sarby looked at him in the box. How on earth has he hit that, he said. But he has left a chance now for Mark Sarby to pinch the frame with the clearance. If this yellow goes in... I mean, th this was a shot where he's got to swerve it. And, OK, he's, he's got to hit it. What he's trying to do is hit it off three cushions. And he didn't quite get the three cushions, but look what happens when he's played it. Well, when you consider it wasn't a natural angle, he had to swerve to get there with all that side on. And he's hit the yellow absolutely perfect, and it turned out to be the perfect weight to just nestle against the black. You could have a million goals at that, but this was just as impressive. Tell us about how, after the second cushion, it became running side, John. Well, what he's done, he's put left-hand side on to check it off the first cushion, then when it goes to the second cushion, then it reverses and becomes running side. And this was a tremendous hit. Just watch it as it comes off the second watch cushion. It. There's the check side, now becomes running side, speeds up. Remarkable, but unlucky for him, left the pot on. But it's Mark Selby in fairness. Should have played a better shot from brown to blue. And luckily looking up to the commentary box there, saying, how on earth has he hit that? cushions. Ah, well then, could this Bow. be a free ball? Anthony Smith, Anthony Hamilton, four. Well, it's going back anywhere. So, anyway, I should say. Good hit. Don't go in there, though. Oh, Foul. now then. And this Hamilton, might be a free ball. Four. Free ball. I think this is about to go one apiece. Well, the odds against him getting out of the snooker uh, are not very favourable here, Stephen. No, this is the last thing. Sean Murphy as favourite for this match once in the first frame to lose. Lose it having your opponent needing two snookers. to go close to hitting the pink going this way not a bad effort that's a great escape from Sean Murphy <laughs> don't get much better than that terrific escape David Gilbert one Ronnie's looking at one, two, three, four cushions and land on the red. What an escape this will be. Oh, have a look at this for an escape. There's one cushion, two cushion, three cushions, four cushions. Great escape, but what a bonus he's had there to get the snooker. What a bonus that was, Stephen. Well, wow, that's frightening, isn't it? I mean, fantastic hit, don't get me wrong, but the pace he was hitting the red, he's just bound to stick it up. Right to land there, that's his incredible fortune. What way would you play it? Well, it, it all depends if he feels the blues in the way, doesn't yeah. it? It looks like he's playing it direct, two cushions. Almost trying to go around the back of the red. Oh. Just don't think it has the pace, has it? Has it got the pace? Maybe it has. Maybe it has. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what a shot! 
<laughs> what a shot that is. Excellent recovery. When he hit it initially, he sort of jumped up. He didn't think it had the pace itself, but it just shows you how fast these tables are. Yeah, you could stand there for the, for the next 17 days <laughs> that, that we're going to be here, and, and you would not play a better shot than that. Luca is actually in a bit of trouble here. <laughs> well worked out, wasn't it? But he obviously felt the blue was in the way of the, the initial shot, but this pace, it landed on the red like a butterfly with sore feet, didn't it? What a shot. Fantastic. <coughs> Two cushion escape with pace. Oh, just missed it. Wow. Oh. Miss. Mark Selby. Very close. <coughs> sure, Mark, I'll have yep. it Can replaced. Have oh, he's done the same oh. thing again. Oh. Miss. <laughs> the job smiles. Oh. Yeah, we've had a put back, so car park attendant again. So, third time lucky, is it? Oh, hello. Well, 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 well. Oh, Selby four. <laughs> again, please. Have you ever seen anything like that before? The one thing is certain, Dennis, you've got to applaud the referee and the scorer for putting the brown back in the <laughs> same place. Perfect, yeah. Yeah. The white actually could do a little bit white to me. There we go. You'll be quite pleased for a second, thank Two you. Two ball to me a touch. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. John? Mark? Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Come on, let's clip it this time, John. Brilliant! Brilliant! Now that deserves a tap on the table. Well, <laughs> nice to see. That relieves a bit of tension, I can tell you. But there was a lot of tension in the, those two opening frames. Right, hope you enjoyed that video as well. It was for full of shots and trick shots and mistakes, really funny ones. And you can see how players, clever players, get out of a snooker situation, okay? Again, when you say someone is snookered, he's in a difficult situation, okay? He's got a problem he's trying to get out of it. That is the meaning of snookered. Now, some expressions like just don't miss the ball, which means uh, hit the target. Don't uh, like uh, like uh, lose uh, concentration, okay? Focus, okay? And hit the target in your business, in your work, all right? Keep your eyes on the ball. It's the same. Keep your eyes on the ball. Like this is the way. If you don't look at the ball, the cue ball that you want trying to, or the ball you want to hit, you, you will miss a shot. So you will lose a target in business, okay? Or in, at work. Keep your eyes. You need to pass that exam. Keep your eye on the ball, okay? Uh, concentration is a key. Yes, you need to concentrate and focus, okay? Uh, cue ball can do it all. Yes, you don't have to do everything by yourself. Providing you get everything right in, in place, okay? You will achieve what you want, okay? By using the tools you've got, okay? In the right way, right? Um, the best offense is sometimes a good defense. Yeah, you do that like in the, in the game, okay? Like you, do, you protect yourself. Sometimes you don't have to attack. You can just uh, put the ball in a snooker position so the other players can't do anything. He will keep making mistakes and committing, getting fouls, okay? So that's a way to, uh, like, fight the competition in the market if you are a businessman, all right? Control the queue, you will win the game. Yes, if you control uh, the, 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 the queue, okay, that you're holding in your hand and the ball properly, okay, you will, get the, you will hit the target. You will win, okay? Okay, those who can't play snooker should go home. Yes, life is like a, it's like a game of snooker, okay? You meet characters who are trying to beat you in order to win, okay? So you must be 
like prepared for the in competition in life. Life is a competition and you must be prepared to get out of difficult situations. Okay. So if you can't get out of difficult situations, when you get in business, you 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 won't be successful. All right. A snooker player, serenity, prayer. Okay. Uh, uh, serenity means to be calm. A prayer in when you pray. Okay. So so it's important for a snooker player to be calm. Okay. He's like he's praying. Okay. Like 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 he's praying for God that he succeed in hitting the ball in the right pocket. Okay. That's so being praying in in in, in while while you're quiet. Okay. Like you are in a church praying. Okay. Or the mosque or the synagogue or whatever. Life is like a game of snooker. Yes, you've got lots of difficult situations in life and obstacles. You have to get over them. That was mentioned before. Life is like a game of snooker. Okay. You shoot pretty good, which means you shoot snooker. You achieve the targets. You're good at what you do. Okay. At solving problems. Okay. You shoot pretty. So you know how to aim and hit the target that you want. I'll end with, uh, because the video is taking so long now, because I have too many videos in, in, inside the video to explain the rules of the game and some funny shots and similar stuff. So the video is very long. Okay. Education is important, but playing snooker is more important. Um, uh, it's true. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in a way. Okay. Because uh, real life is different from education, guys. What you learn in school, okay, is different from what you learn from real life. Snooker is like real life. What happens when you hit one ball and the effect on the other balls, other colors, is the same with human beings. Like you are at work. Some people, some workers will help you, some will be against you, some will compete against you, trying and hinder you. And okay, so it's like playing snooker. When you hit one ball, it hits another ball, it hits another ball. That's like sometimes it's described in the Bible. It's like God works in a mysterious way. Like uh, certain things happen in life, and the result is amazing. It comes from a direction you didn't expect it. Uh, that's like snooker. So, yes, education is important, but uh, it, like in real, uh, like real life is also will teach you lots of lessons and lots of experience, which is also as uh, important as education, if not more. Okay, if not more. That's it. I'd like to end the video with this. Okay, and uh, that's it, girls and guys. And I thank you.